Hey guys, it's Lisa here on day four of my 30 days of finding fabulous pursuit. And I am still processing my weekend, realizing that one of the most frustrating things that happened, happened to also be the most fabulous thing. And that is the fact that I had terrible Wi-Fi connection and next to no cell reception. So it was frustrating because on day two of my challenge, I was unable to upload the video. And that was, I had really committed to doing that on a daily basis. And so that was not something that I enjoyed. However, it did allow me to completely disconnect from my cell phone. It allowed me to actually be more in the moment with the kids and with my experience. And it reminded me how important that is. Now, I know you're thinking, yeah, that's not a big new thing. Everyone's always saying we are too stuck and connected to our phones. But I think it is important enough to actually put it out as a challenge for you to consider a particular moment in your day. You don't have to turn your phone off for the entire day, but a particular moment where you can disconnect from your phone, from your electronics, from your laptops and your, your tablets in order to really connect with what's going on in your life. You know, there is fabulous all around us. The question is, are we really taking it in and absorbing it? You know, for me this weekend, there were even some times where I actually looked at my phone just for the purpose of using it as a watch uh, to know what time it was. And yet when I turned it on, Sometimes something would have got through the, uh, the cell connection and there would be notifications from Facebook and email subject lines that would take me away from what I was doing. It would just take me to another place and I would start thinking about it or I would start worrying about the fact that I hadn't posted my video yet. And in those moments, I was not absorbing what was going on. So I would suggest that you consider also challenging yourself. You know, those moments where you may be, I don't know, waiting in line at the bank or watching your child's soccer game. Moments where maybe you pick up your phone thinking, well, I might as well make use of the time and, and check my, my emails or check my messages. The question is, do they also start to, does that also start to steal a little bit of the joy away from whatever it is you're doing? Whether you're having dinner with friends, you're trying to connect with your child, um, whether you're um, just going for a walk and trying to enjoy um, the scenery. Even here, as I'm talking to you and speaking uh, you know, into my phone, I am not as connected with Leo as I normally am or with how great it is to go walking around. And so now it is time for me to turn off this, to turn off my phone so I can be more connected. And I throw the challenge out to you to do the same. Go out and find fabulous as you disconnect in order to reconnect.